Let's go! Maple Leafs win 7-3 over the Vancouver Canucks. And the Maple Leafs dominated this game for a full 60 minutes. This was by far the best game the Toronto Maple Leafs have played this season. The Maple Leafs are on a roll right now. An extremely hot start. We've won 8 games in our first 11 outings. That is very impressive. But this was by far the most impressive game I've seen. We have not dominated a game from puck drop to minute 60. And the Maple Leafs did it out there tonight. You look at whatever aspect of this game you want, the Maple Leafs dominate. There is so much to be happy about as a Toronto Maple Leafs fan that just watched this game. 7-3 Maple Leafs win, and it was a special kind of night for none other than Jason Spezza, the veteran, with a hat trick, showing he can still do it. That wicked shot, he still got it. Spezza has looked extremely dangerous this year. Coming into this game, he only had one goal. And he's really failed to cash in on his opportunities. But he's had a lot. And tonight, he gets his 8th career hat-trick. That is quite the feat for Jason Spezza. He's had an exceptional career. And he demonstrated tonight that he is still capable of being a valuable sniper, even on the fourth line. You love to see contributions from up and down the lineup because that's something the Maple Leafs haven't been able to rely on in years past. And in this pandemic season, the shortened season where so many injuries and illnesses can be contracted, that is going to be critical down the stretch. And it's going to be more so than any other year. But it wasn't just our bottom six that contributed. And it wasn't just Jason Spezza. We got goals from our top guys as well. Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, and John Tavares. And these are guys you'd expect to contribute. And you love to see it every time they get on the score sheet. Austin Matthews opened the scoring in this game, going all the way from Newfoundland and Labrador over to the opposite coast to BC, cashing in, making it one nothing early and really setting the tone for this game. Austin Matthews, what a goal, what a start. And Austin Matthews is on a six game goal streak now. He's on fire. I think it's fair to say that that would be a lot more difficult if he wasn't playing on the line with Mitch Marner. Mitch Marner has now assisted 29 of Austin Matthews' goals since the beginning of the 2019-2020 season. And that's the most of any duo in the NHL in that time. These guys are a lethal, dynamic duo. Please, name a more dynamic duo. I'll wait. Mitch Marner once again showed why he is more than just an elite playmaker. He's got a wicked shot. And we saw it from the point as he cashed in for his sixth goal of the season. Mitch Marner, before the season even started, said that he wanted to shoot the puck more and score more frequently to help this team. And he has absolutely done so. And I expect him to continue this tear he has been on early in this season. Another guy who's been on a tear early on this season is our captain, Johnny Toronto. John Tavares, you expect our top guys to contribute? And our top three players did. John Tavares, the captain. Adding another goal, and that's his fifth of the season. I expect him to continue having a big season, and I really think that this could be a career year in the points per game category for him. John Tavares looks like he's playing with more intensity than ever before, and he really wants to win, and win now. This is his hometown too. He would love nothing more than to bring a Stanley Cup to the city of Toronto. Earlier in this video, I said the Toronto Maple Leafs dominated this game. And I meant that. They dominated the score sheet 7-3. And they dominated the shots on goal 37-20. to Let's take a look at the shot chart for the Vancouver Canucks. So as you can see, the Vancouver Canucks, a lot of their shots coming from outside and the point area. They had a couple down low in the sl slot area. But the Maple Leafs, for the most part, did a great job taking away the Vancouver Canucks shooting lanes, but they also possessed the puck for so much of this game. There really wasn't many opportunities for the Canucks to get shots on goal. Let's take a look at the Toronto Maple Leafs shot chart. Sheldon Keefe is going to be thrilled looking at this shot chart. Look at where the shot main shot cluster is for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Right there in the high slot area, you got a couple from the point, and really, 
The Toronto Maple Leafs did whatever they wanted in the offensive zone tonight. The Vancouver Canucks couldn't stop a nosebleed. Now, in case you missed it, Travis Dermott, less than five minutes into this game, he left with a leg injury, and you never really like to speculate, but it looked like it could have been pretty serious. The way his knee got hit into the boards, it was just contact with his leg. That's tough. There's never a good time for an injury, but this was really untimely. Rasmus Sandin, he said he's frustrated not getting any ice time, hasn't played in a game yet. The other day, he gets hit in the face with a puck. Miko Lettinen, he's been struggling, and Travis Dermott replaced him this game after taking some time off. Miko Lettinen, he's going to be thrown back into the mix if Travis Dermott isn't healthy. And I think that Travis Dermott is probably going to be missing some time. So we need to see that next man up mentality that we've been seeing with this team all year long. We've seen Joe Thornton, Nick Robertson, even Austin Matthews miss time. Players have stepped up big time. And now we're shifting our focus to the defense. We need someone to step up and fill the skates of Travis Dermott. The Toronto Maple Leafs have the most depth of any team in this North Division. And that is going to be pivotal down the stretch of this pandemic season. The Maple Leafs dominated this game, and really, there's not much to be disappointed about. There's some areas we can still clean up, some minor things. But the next two games against the Vancouver Canucks, we need to continue this trend of domination because we've got tougher opponents ahead. The Montreal Canadiens, two games after these next two against Vancouver, we've got... Tough opponents ahead. You know the Montreal Canadiens are going to come out fired up against the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's inevitable. They always do. But the Vancouver Canucks, we've still got two against them. So let's not look too far ahead. I'm hyped up though. The Toronto Maple Leafs with an outstanding victory. Dominant in every fashion. Even in the fights. Wayne Train. The Wayne Train all aboard. The Toronto Maple Leafs riding that Wayne Train. That momentum. We dominated on the score sheet. Wayne Simmons at the end of the game with a huge hit. And he dominated in that fight like the Toronto Maple Leafs dominated this game. He landed 9 or 10 consecutive punches on Jordy Ben, And it wasn't even a contest. Just like this game. The Toronto Maple Leafs, we need to ride this momentum. Let's take the next two games against the Vancouver Canucks. Let's go into Montreal. And let's play our big rivals. Go Leafs go! What a game. Love to see it. Let's light the lamp. I'm hyped up. Woo! Let's go.